Hi everybody, this is Mr. Wells here, and this is going to be our video instructions for Lab 2 Planetary Geology. Now, for the pre-lab questions here, this is directly from our Google Meet, uh, either on Monday or Tuesday, for class this week. If you have any questions about these, you should definitely reach out to myself or Ms. Abel, depending on who your teacher is, uh, right away, because we should make sure that we kind of have this ready to go from our Google Meet at the beginning of the week. Again, reach out if you have any questions, but I am going to skip ahead to our second page, which talks about some new content. Now, this lab is called Planetary Geology. We are going to talk about some lunar geology in a little bit, but most of the lab I think you're going to notice is going to focus on Martian geology. In fact, we are going to bring in some terrestrial or Earth geology as well, which would make sense because we are in an Earth science class. I think what you're going to see, though, when you start to look at Martian geology is that a lot of the features, while seemingly exotic, are pretty similar to features that we would see on the Earth. Uh, maybe just dialed up to 11 because Martian geology is pretty wild. And so we're going to look at a few features right away using a program called Google Mars. This is going to be kind of a trick because I'm probably going to say Google so many times that your head's going to spin. We are going to Google some things in this lab. Uh, however, for the majority of the lab, we are just going to be using this program called Google Mars. So for the majority of the lab, when I'm saying Google Mars, I'm not saying Google a feature. I'm referring to this actual program. And so if I click on this right here, this is a program that was designed for the iPad. If you have a desktop, there is a, there is a really interesting version of this, this app, Google Mars, where you can look at Mars in three dimensions and really pull in different features. However, this is going to get it done for everything that we need to do in the lab. There are different ways to look at this. So if I go into the visible spectrum or the infrared spectrum, however, we're going to focus almost entirely just looking at this elevation map. And that's because we're going to be able to pull out the different features a lot nicer. You can see, really see the distinct features of Mars using this elevation map. And the elevation map is measuring topography, just how high or low things are on the surface. So you can see based off the bottom left here, the things that are darker colors, like our blues, our purples, and, and up to black, those are our deepest features. And then the things that get up into the gray, the white, the red, those are our highest features. And so if you look at the lab the, uh, on page two, the first thing that I ask you to find is Olympus Mons. And you are going to label several features on this map. You can just, in notability, draw arrows and make sure it's very clearly labeled. You might even want to create a text box just to show uh, you know, which feature is which, draw an arrow to the, to the actual location. To find these, it's actually really simple. So let's say I was trying to find Olympus Mons. I would just use the search feature. You could use the, the tabs up on the top left here where you see mountains, spacecraft, dunes, stories, craters. Uh, that would be uh, helpful too, but then you're gonna have to kind of search for stuff um, page by page. I would just use the search bar. Let's go Olympus Mons. And if you search for it, it's going to pull out exactly where it is. Now, there is a few things because these features are major features. So sometimes there'll be multiple little articles that you can see about that. And these are links in some cases to articles. What you would always want to click on, though, is just the red location because that's going to tell you exactly where the thing is. Uh, you know, if in the case of Hellas Basin or one of the large features, you see multiple reds, um, it'll, it'll usually be kind of roughly in the same location. As you can see, all the greens right here are pointed towards Olympus Mons. So this is exactly where you would draw Olympus Mons, if I go back to my sheet right here. Now, Olympus Mons is fascinating because it is the largest mountain in the entire solar system. You know, on, a, on an image like this, it's kind of hard to pull out because the, this is, you're seeing the entire planetary surface of Mars. However, you know, so it might look like this isn't that large. Uh, this is an enormous feature, right? You're talking about a mountain that's over 16 miles tall. And so that would be, if, you know, if that was on Earth, it would be you know, much larger than Mount Everest. And so Olympus Mons would be your first feature. I will show you one more feature just because there is some data oftentimes. So for example, number three, I, or sorry, number four, I tell you to find Valles Marineris and how to find that distance in miles. Now that is a feature that you are going to label right away for number one. And so you could kill two birds with one stone as well by looking up the uh, you know, Valles Marineris and getting the distance at the same time. So I'll show you how to do that too. This will be the, the other one that I'll show you. Now, sometimes autocorrect with these Martian names is a little funny. Let's hope that, oh, Valles.
Marineris. The last time that I did this, it auto-corrected to Valleys Marinara, like marinara sauce. So I clicked on Valleys Marineris. Now you can definitely see right there the size in miles, 2,342 miles. Now this would be, the, the entire feature is actually this whole region right here that looks like a large canyon, and that because, that's because it is a large canyon, except for the fact that this canyon right here that goes all the way, it's all this blue that you can see that goes all the way up right here, that canyon, the length of that canyon is almost the same as the length of the distance between California and New York. You could almost fit the entire United States uh, in the diameter here of Ballas Marineris. So again, if you click on that, you can see 2,342 miles. That would be your answer actually for number four. And you can use that to label for number one as well. So I would make sure that you read through this lab even before you start because you could maybe start to pull out some of the themes and some of the things that I'm going to have you find. The biggest thing though right away is just finding these locations, labeling them, letting me know if you have any questions. The last thing that I wanted to, to talk about uh, is down here, number eight. The vertical relief questions can be a little bit tricky. I do. These are ones where I actually will have you do a Google search. Unfortunately, with, even with Google Mars, you're not able to actually get the, like, for example, the elevation of Olympus Mons. You kind of have to estimate, and you could definitely do that because I do have you estimate using this elevation chart down on the bottom left right here. However, it doesn't hurt to just do a quick Google search to try to find the vertical reliefs. Uh, and so, you know, to find vertical relief, if I found Olympus Mons and I subtracted that from the lowest point, which is Hellas Basin, that would give us our vertical relief of Mars. Vertical relief is just the difference between the highest and the lowest point. I do have you look at the Pathfinder missions for number 10 here. Now, my hint for this is to look at the rocks. We haven't really talked about in this class yet about weathering and erosion on the Earth. However, the key to answering this question has to do with the, the different types of erosion processes that you might find on a planet and based off of the kind of the shapes of the rocks. Are these shapes mostly angular? Or are they mostly rounded? What does that tell us about the planet? Finally, for part two, we're going to compare Martian geology to lunar geology. You don't actually have to go onto Google Moon for this. You could if you're interested. There is another uh, a, you know, Google search called Google Moon. It's an app where you can see the geology of the moon. You can see that the geology of the moon is very different from Mars, and I do ask you a couple questions about that. So that should be it for the lab. Let me know if you have any questions when you're answering these questions uh, on page two and on. Again, for this first page, I do talk about these on the Google Meet, or we did talk about these on the Google Meet uh, at the beginning of the week, but definitely reach out if you have any questions about that as well. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this all made sense. And let us know if you have any questions while you're filling this out. Have a good one.